I give salam to my people in Bangladesh. Salam to the people of Marrakesh. Assalamu alaikum guys, we are here at Salam Corner. We have a, a lovely person here. Uh, what's your name? Uh, lucky. Lucky? Yeah. You are very lucky to be here. <laughs> I'm lucky to be talking to you. <laughs> That's good. So um, tell us a bit about yourself. Um, like, just, just in general. Like. So I'm from Ireland. You're um, from Ireland? Yeah. Um, I don't really know why I have to pay. Um, okay, so are you, uh, so you're, you're, are you on holiday in London? Uh, yeah, I'm on holiday here. Okay, all right. That's fine. Okay, so basically, um, you will, you, you're learning about Abrahamic religions, did you say? Yeah, I'm trying to. Okay, do you know anything about Islam? Um, a little. A little bit, yeah? yeah. What, what do you know so far, like, with a little bit? Um, I know, I'm, or I believe it's the early, or it's the newest, I guess, uh, okay. like Abrahamic faith. Okay. Uh, it's, I know that Muhammad uh, was... The prophet. Yeah, the prophet. Yeah, um, yeah a little bit, I don't know. Okay, all right. Yeah. So yeah, these are medals of honor, as you can see. Uh, so yeah, basically, in a nutshell, um, Islam, we believe Islam has been there. Guys. Uh, come on. Yeah, but not bad hiding. Always, yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. So in a nutshell, basically, Islam has been there from day one. So we believe the first prophet was Prophet Adam. Islam has existed from that day. So it's not something new. What is done is to come and reaffirm the other messages that were sent, basically, in a nutshell. Um, so basically, the main message of Islam is very simple. God Almighty wants us, the Creator, to worship Him and Him alone. So, when we're born, a lot of people think that we're born free. I don't, we don't agree with that. We believe that, yes, of course we're born, but nobody chose, for example, their gender, nobody chose their name, nobody chose the way they look, nobody chose their mom and dad or their siblings, right? So when we come to this life, there's a lot of way of life calling us. So it might be, for example, um, liberalism, Islam, Christianity, Judaism, Hinduism, Sikhism. They are all calling everyone to say this is the true way of life. Islam is no different except that we believe Islam is the true religion from God Almighty. So we believe all the prophets that Jews believe in, for example, Moses, yeah, um, Abraham, these are prophets that we believe in as well. And we believe they were Muslims. Muslim is the one who submits his will to God. So in a nutshell, what God wants from us is to worship him and him alone, not to worship any idols. So when you look at Christianity, Christianity has a trinity. It has the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. And they call them co-equal equal gods, right? Okay, they are the Father, is not the Son, the Son is not the Holy Spirit, but they're all God. Yes. We negate that. Okay. We say no. How could God Almighty, who created the heavens and the earth? You know, they took a picture recently. Sorry, Guys, sorry. what's going on? It's too much. Yeah. You know that picture they took of the, the universe? Uh, not the sure. recent one they took. I don't know if you know. So just imagine the one who created the heavens and the earth coming to earth and walking like me and you. Do you think that's plausible that God Almighty can come on earth like a man like me and you? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't exactly. That's what Islam is about. Islam is there to tell the people that God Almighty is deserving of worship and we should worship Him and Him alone. In a nutshell, that's the core message of Islam. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, guys, Yeah, no problem. So, for example, have you, have you got Quran? Yeah, I just got You took one, yeah, okay, no problem. For example, like, open a random verse in the Quran. Okay. You can put this stuff here if you want, yeah, yeah. You can put your teddy bear here as well if you like. Uh, sure. Yeah. Can I just yeah, that's, it, that's it, that's a good place, yeah. I'm going to give the teddy bear a Quran, yes. Sure. <laughs> okay, uh, pick a random verse. Sure. 108. Okay, so this is which verse? 108. 108. Okay, so this is Surah Anbiya. Say it is it is only revealed to me that your God is but one God. What was I talking about? This is the only Look, check this out, yeah? What was your name? Lucky, uh, lucky, lucky, lucky. Lucky look. Before we open the Quran, we were talking about what? What's the main message of Islam, yeah? You open a verse, Surah Anbiya, chapter 21, and you go to verse 108. And 108 says very clearly, Say, it is only, only revealed to me that your God is but one God. So will you be Muslim? That's a question to you. So will you be Muslim? <laughs> it's very profound. And Allah says in the next verse, But if they turn away, then say, I have announced to all of you equally, and I know that whether, and I know, and I know not whether near or far is that which you are promised. 
So the day of judgment, we believe in the day of judgment, yeah? So it's very profound here, we're talking about the oneness of God Almighty. And God Almighty is saying, look, call the people to the way of God, to worship Him and follow His way of life, yeah? Indeed, He, he knows what, what is declared of speech and He knows what you conceal. Meaning, God Almighty knows what you think in your heart and He knows what you utter on your tongue. So He's the all-knowing, that's one of His attributes. And I know not, perhaps it is a, is a trial for you and an enjoyment for a time. The prophet has said, my Lord, judge between us in truth. And your Lord is the most merciful, the one who is taught against that which you describe. So in a nutshell, the main message of Islam is that we should worship the Lord. And like you said, I said to you, do you believe God can be a man? He said, no. Where did you get this knowledge from? Because you innately know that, hold on a second, if I'm going to believe in a creator, how can I believe that creator can be a human being? Because a human being is, is, is dependent. We have to eat food, we rely on different things to survive. So can God be a man? He can't be. That's the main message of Islam. In a nutshell, like to, not to conf uh, um, confuse it too much. That's the main message of Islam. So what is stopping you from being a Muslim? Like, is there something, what's making you like, you know what, hold on a second. Do you do, maybe need to read more? So what is stopping you from maybe accepting Islam? Um, I guess there's a lot of things. I mean, I don't think my family will be supportive, so there's a lot of that. Okay, so, so your family, but, yeah? Yeah, Okay. it's about reading more, you know, kind of... Okay, yeah. okay. So you want to take some time out to read, yeah? Yeah. Okay, that's good. I've given you a teddy bear Quran as well. I think he might accept Islam. Yeah. Should we ask him, you want to accept Islam? I think he said he's going to soon. <laughs> no, that's a little peep, yeah? yeah. A little yeah. peep fan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't even know, what, what is it? I said, it's a very talented young artist who unfortunately passed away a couple of years ago. Oh, okay. Overdosing. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah. Okay. And, and this is one of the reasons why a lot of people commit suicide because when you don't know your purpose of life, you are bound to, you're, you're like a leaf on a windy day, wherever the wind wow. takes you. Wow. So it's important for us to have foundations because you can either be like a leaf that's swayed by the wind or be like a tree that has deep roots where you're not swayed by the tree. It affects you a bit, but it never moves you from your place. So Islam is there for us to follow the way of life. There is nothing else that's going to make us happy. Be content. I was where you was 10 years ago. I was scared, my family. I came to Islam 10 years ago. What would my family think? My dad didn't like Islam. My family didn't like Islam. I had those worries as well. But I had to accept, if it's the truth, I said I have to follow it. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Oh, so yeah. Do you, if I may ask, yeah. are you convinced of this? Well, uh, we were talking about Tawheed. I think a lot of it, it, yeah. makes, it makes a lot of sense. We were yeah. talking about the oneness of God, and yeah. she opened Surah Anbiya, verse yeah. 108. Read it. Yeah. <laughs> Say, it's only rude to me that you God is but one God. Yeah, incredible, is, incredible so. stuff. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I mean, that's it. I don't want to hold you too long. If you have any questions, we can answer. If not, I mean, we'll uh, wrap it up. I, I'm not yeah. sure, but uh, yeah, I just... <laughs> Yeah? You seem very great, so it was like very good talking to no you. No problem. So, yeah. Thank you for your time. If you have any questions, we're here. Okay. Um, and I think your teddy bear is a Muslim now. <laughs> yeah. So you need to make sure you give it halal food. Yes. Is it, is it a male or female? A uh, male. Is it a male? Yeah. Okay, then it needs to, as male, you know the woman wear the hijab? Yeah. Men need to cover from their knees to their navel. So okay. Make sure you get him some nice shorts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much, thank Lucky. You. Thank it was a pleasure you. talking to you. If you have any questions, we're here every Sunday. Okay, thank yeah, you. thank you. I'll just okay. take the mic. Yeah. Thank you very much. Take care. All the best in the future. Thank you. Take care. I mean, that was a lovely discussion, guys. As you can see, the fitra was there that she herself said that she believes in the oneness of one God. We open Surah Quran random, Surah yeah. Anbiya, verse 108, say that your God is one God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it doesn't get more profound than that, guys. From Salam Khona to next time with new guests. We'll see you later. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.